What's up guys and welcome back to the DIY HVAC Guy YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you three tips on how to use this RLS press tool made by Clock. So let's get into it. So tip number one is inspecting the pipe that you're going to be fitting into this RLS fitting. Now at first glance, this pipe may seem like it looks nice and clean. We scotch brighted it, we deburred it. But if we mark where this is going to be sitting, and we make note of where this o-ring is going to be you'll notice some little tiny um, imperfections here on right there we notice imperfections we really want to be careful on inspecting where that o-ring is going to be that's where a lot of these guys are ending up with leaks because they're not inspecting it good enough they're like we scotch brighted it it's good to go they want to get out of there but just making sure that where the o-ring is is totally clear and free of any sort of little etches or anything of that nature it might just mean cutting off a few inches or, or even a, an inch of the pipe to make sure that where that o-ring is is completely clear tip number two is calibrating the jaws before you actually do your crimp so say the last fitting that i did was a 3 8 and i've just now put on my three quarter jaws you're not really supposed to go ahead and crimp that fitting Here's what you're supposed to do. Go ahead and hold it down and let it do one cycle without a fitting in here. And then it's calibrated for three quarter inch or whatever size jaws you have. All right, so now you're good to go. You can go ahead and do all of your three quarters. I like to just do each size one at a time instead of swapping back and forth because that saves battery life and you're supposed to calibrate it. Tip number three involves um, crimping this fitting. So I'm gonna show that to you real time. We're gonna get it right up to that O-ring where we can feel that resistance and we're gonna spin slightly until we get right to that mark. And let's go ahead and crimp this one. So we're gonna put our jaws on just like that. Always remember to hold that for a couple seconds after. Now here is tip number three. On a properly fitted uh, fitting, you'll see that little RLS right there. You don't wanna crimp this twice cause you'll end up with two of those. And I've heard you just wanna press this once. And really the only thing you need to do is to check it with this afterwards and just make sure that it slips over. Then your fitting is good to go and you should be leak free. So for those of you who are thinking about picking up this tool or maybe you already have it, I hope these uh, little tips have been helpful for you. This tool is great if you're in an environment where you can't have a flame, you're not legally allowed to. Um, I know a lot of hospitals and other buildings, you're not allowed to have a flame. And if you're using refrigerant that is flammable, this is an awesome alternative. Now I know you guys uh, like to braze and prefer brazing over it but this can be a real lifesaver in certain situations. If you haven't yet, check us out on patreon.com slash DIY HVAC guy. There you'll have access to diagnostic help, help with sizing equipment, help with where to purchase equipment and warranty information. All of that for a low price of $25. I've had a lot of people interested in that. So as much as I would like to do it for free, I have to charge a little bit, but if you haven't checked it out, it's uh, patreon.com slash DIY HVAC guy. If you're interested in seeing how one of these fittings is actually removed in case it does start to leak, check out this video and I'm going to show you how to do that. If it's not here yet, just stay tuned. This video will be live here as soon as I have that video published. So make sure and check it out. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.